So welcome back to the channel of one Triple M here and today we're looking at a wireless HMI transmitter that's pretty much going to solve the problem of having to run long clunky HMI cables. Today's product that we're looking at is a HMI transmitter from Brydall. Now this does have a lot of cool features, does support 4K decoded, it is plug and play so no need to install drivers, install software, plug it into your laptop, into your MacBook and you should be good to go. So this video I'm going to quickly set it up, we're going to test it out, of course we're going to test the range, go through some of the features and if you're new to the channel subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. So before we jump into the unboxing, shout out to Bridal for sponsoring this video. Of course, all thoughts and opinions on this video will be of my own. So let's start out by taking a look at the contents of the box. So first thing is going to be a user manual. Guys, if you're going to get this product, definitely take a look. It's going to show you everything you need to know about the product itself, how to set it up, how to troubleshoot it, so, uh, what the features are, how to get into the web UI. Pretty much it's a couple pages and definitely worth taking a look at. Now we're also going to have the transmitter. Now this does have a button on it and this is essentially the connection i'll get into it a little bit later also has a usb-c for power and a hdmi out to plug into your laptop we also have the receiver and the receiver is gonna have two main outputs gonna have an hdmi and a vga uh, just keep in mind that both of these cannot be used at the same time and also if you're using a vga you do have a 3.5 millimeter for the sound because if you guys remember vga connection does not carry sound Besides that pretty cool looking design, in the back we're gonna have two antennas. These are of course provided. We also have an LED, a reset button or connection button, and it has a USB-C for power. Next, we're gonna have the two antennas. Now while we connect this, this does have dual band Wi-Fi. This is gonna give you a more stable connection. So it does have 2.4 as well as five gigahertz band. Also in the box, they provided some adapters. Now these are gonna be your micro mini HDMI, Two of them are provided. This allows you to essentially connect it into your video cameras, your camcorders, anything that has the smaller HDMI connection. And that way you can still use this product wirelessly, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of cameras are gonna have this type of output. Last thing in the box, we're gonna have a couple of wires. Uh, we're gonna have two USB-C to USB-A adapters and we're also going to have an hdmi now the usb c to usb a is use of power the transmitter and the actual receiver now i am going to get into a use case where you really don't need the power uh if you guys have macbooks with usb c's and usb c's only you don't need to connect any power we also have an hdmi uh, this is for the receiver plug this into the receiver then plug into your television and then you're all set now that we got this out of the box let's go over some of the specifications so as far as the power required you are going to need to use 502 amp power adapter to power the adapter and the transmitter so if you have a television set that you're plugging into that has the usb port which will work but just remember that the 5 volt 2 amp will provide enough power just to make sure you don't run into any issues this also has a long distance wireless adapter which has a built in 2.45 gigahertz dual band wi-fi module and is equipped with two high performance antennas now transmission distance for each can reach up to 98 feet or 30 meters and the delays give or take 0.1 second this can transmit through walls at about 30 meters so we'll test it out to see how accurate that is here in a little bit now also this is plug and play so don't need to install drivers install software plug into your laptop then your laptop will detect this as a video source and you should see it where it can start transmitted it does support decoded 4k at 30 hertz however the output on this is going to be your standard hd so 1080p now as far as getting this set up setup truly was plug and play i do have couple laptops here that i'm testing i do have a, a pc that has an hdmi output and i also have a mac that only has usb c's and now for the pc with the hdmi output all i need to do is plug in a transmitter into the hdmi port on the pc then plug in the adapter into a usb port or if you have an adapter you can go ahead and plug that into the wall as well for the transmitter i was able to plug into the monitor uh, into the hdmi port and plug in the power as well. Now, as you can see on the screen, once you plug it in into the monitor, monitor will show you a symbol, just letting you know that the connection is there, but it hasn't detected the source. So once it's connected to your computer, it will start displaying on the actual monitor or on the television, whichever one you decide to use this on. Now, once you're connected, guys, you can treat this as you would a second monitor or an additional monitor, which means that 
if you just want to extend your monitor you can go ahead and do so so extending your monitor essentially means that you have two monitors that you're playing with and you can drag and drop and go from monitor to monitor so i was able to do that very easily and i was also able to mirror my monitor so have everything duplicate on both screens so overall this was pretty easy when you use an hdmi like i'm using here it did also transmit the sound so i didn't have any issues there as well footage of a wreck of a bulk carrier armed in, in the black sea off the coast of turkey on the 17th of january 2021 just the overall setup was pretty straightforward and as far as your mac with only usb c's or if you have a pc with a usb c port you can use this and believe it or not the setup for this is even simpler so uh, you do need some adapters these weren't provided in the box but what i was able to do is get a usb c to hmi adapter and get a female to female hmi adapter plug the transmitter dongle into the female end and that's all it took so with a usb-c port it will also power the device with that setup i did not need to use the usb-c on the transmitter to power it which saved us a step so uh, after this was done everything worked the same as far as transmitting my picture transmitting my data transmitted my video my audio no issues there and just the overall setup of this was pretty straightforward now as far as the distance test how i wanted to test it i wanted to leave it connected how it is and just really walk throughout the house just to see where i'm losing signal so my first stop was in uh, my bedroom i went through the back door then i went to the uh, balcony area and you can see that transmission was okay came back out went through the loft went through the bathroom on the other side of the second story and no issues there either so just doing an estimation that was probably going through two or three walls just on the same floor and everything there would seem fine. So I took it a step further. So I went downstairs and I actually uh, went outside towards the pool. And as you can see, that's where I started running to some drops. Uh, so in and out wasn't terrible, but I didn't completely lose connection, but you can see it is dropping in and out. So I came back inside, went to another room on the first floor and that seemed to be working okay. So practically this can be a solution just because i was able to go downstairs i was able to go across the hallway across the the other end of the house and it seemed to work fine and only seen the drop out in those extreme areas where it's going through multiple walls floorboard glass <laughs> so really that's not a realistic expectation in my opinion but i'm really happy with the results now even though this is a simplest setup there is some advanced or additional features and options that you can change within the web UI of this unit. So to get to this, all you need to do is go on your computer or your phone. You need to find the name of the device. It is gonna start with RX, as you see in there. Once you connect to it, the password is gonna be 1234567 three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then go to your web page and type in 192.168.203.1 and it will bring you into the web interface of this transmitter. So I found this was pretty helpful because you do have additional options that you can play with, they can turn on and off uh, just to kind of fine tune this unit to what you need. So first it has an internet setup and you can connect to whatever Wi-Fi you want. And this will uh, just give you the option to push updates to this unit via over the air. So you do have some additional option, the internet, your password you can change, your resolution you can change as well, play mode. You also have AGCP, which you can turn on and off. So guys, that option is there. You have the edit pass through language, which you can change. And you do have the option to check for upgrade once you've connected to the internet. Now below that, you can pair with another transmitter, you can reset and you can reboot the device. So um, I thought this was pretty cool because this gives you additional options to not only fine tune, but also maybe uh, play with some of those settings that you might be curious about. Now the transmitter, like I said, does have LED indicators that tell you certain things of what's going on with the actual transmitter. So it does have three modes. So slow flash means that it's disconnected. Fast flash means that it's pairing and always on means that it is connected. So keep that in mind. Now, in case your transmitter and receiver are not paired together, there's a pairing button on the back of the receiver and on the top of the transmitter that you can press and force them to pair with one another. Uh, this is really just in the rare cases where that you either get a unit that isn't connected or a loose connection. But just speaking to the manufacturer, this doesn't happen very often. So let's go over some of the pros and cons of this. So pros, this is plug and play, easy to set up, works well on different devices as far as uh, devices with HDMI out, VGA, devices with USB-C, works well and didn't really experience 
a lot of issues. The only con I noticed is that when I had this connected to my television, uh, there was a lag there and it wasn't present on my monitor. So I'm thinking this is more to do with my television than it has to do with the transmitter itself. But overall, I would recommend this product. Uh, currently, it's on Amazon for $129. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description where you can go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.